Hello again folks, Skillful Mission here and welcome back to my channel and today I have another Bible video for you folks. Uh, but real quick, <laughs> I want to know what you guys think of this shirt. It looks awesome, right? Jesus is my savior. And then at the bottom it says Trump is my president. <laughs> I got this at a Trump rally. It's awesome. It's one of the few things I bought and I love this shirt. But anyways, folks, yes, I have a Bible video today and I'm real excited about this one. I think this topic is very awesome and I think you're going to enjoy this. So today I want to talk about angels, specifically uh, all the angels that are mentioned by name in the Bible. Now, several times in the Bible, there are angels mentioned, like when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, an angel was talking to the shepherds, and then all of a sudden a host of angels were with that one angel. And then another instance, angels came and ministered to Jesus after Satan tempted in the wilderness. So there's definitely quite a few instances in the Bible where it talks about angels and them doing certain things. So, but, but today, what I want to talk about is the angels that are mentioned in the Bible by name. And let me just warn you folks right now that I'm also talking about, I'm going to talk about fallen angels as well. Angels that were angels a long time ago, but they are now demons. So that includes, yes, Lucifer, who is now Satan. So I will be talking about him as well. And so I did some research, folks. I got, I found a website here with a short uh, summary of all the angels that are mentioned in the Bible. And we're going to read through it and see how many uh, angels are mentioned in the Bible by name. So first off, we need to ask uh, what is an angel? And it says the Bible describes angels as powerful spiritual beings whom God created to, per to perform specific jobs both in heaven and on earth. And although the Bible often mentions a host of angels, like I just said, it only names a few. So there are only a few angels in the Bible that are ever mentioned by name, and that's what we're going to take a look at right now. So the first angel we're going to talk about is, he's very well known, Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is the most well-known named angel to appear in Scripture. Each time he is mentioned, we see him act as a messenger. That's basically, that seems to be Gabriel's job all the time when he's mentioned as a messenger. To impart wisdom or special announcement, or special announcement from God. So, we see first in the book of Daniel, Gabriel appeared to the prophet Daniel in order to explain some visions God gave Daniel about the end times. Now, those can be found in Daniel chapter 8, verses 18 through 27. And then in chapter 9, verses 20 through 27, while Daniel said, still had trouble understanding the visions, Gabriel's explanations, along with other biblical information about the end times, have allowed us to come to some conclusions about how the end times will play out. So that was a very important message that Gabriel was bringing to the prophet Daniel, so, and I'm glad he got to him. So, And also, Gabriel also appears in the New Testament. He appeared to Zacharias in the temple, to harlan the news that Zechariah's wife Elizabeth would give birth to John the Baptist. And also, Gabriel approaches Mary with the announcement of the birth of Christ. Oh, that's so amazing and so awesome. And later, Joseph receives guidance and a couple visits from Gabriel. Because of the monumental importance of these history-shaping announcements, it seems like that Gabriel is one of God's chief messengers. I mean, it seems more than likely, folks. I mean, am I right? <laughs> so with that being said that is all i have found and that seems to be all these people found about gabriel so that is the first angel that is mentioned by name in the bible that we have talked about that is all that is mentioned about him so moving on to the next angel and oh man i love this angel folks he is just awesome just his name and his title is just awesome the second angel the bible calls by name is michael Michael the Archangel, oh man, that just sounds amazing, who functions very differently from the angel Gabriel. And it says that Michael is an archangel, which means that he is a chief angel. This title indicates that Michael holds a high rank in heaven. So Michael is no doubt a higher rank than Gabriel because Michael is an archangel. And although it is not certain that Michael is the only archangel, the possibility exists, according to Jude, Chapter 1, verse 9, go look at that up, where Michael is referred to in definite terms as the archangel Michael. If other archangels do exist, it is likely that Michael leads them. So Michael has a very important job, and he has a very big title. He is an archangel. He is definitely probably one of the top angels in heaven right now. And I like to think that archangels are pretty 
powerful beings that God created. Probably definitely more powerful than a normal angel, we'll call him, I guess. Like Gabriel. Sorry, Gabriel, but Michael just is just so awesome sounding. He probably has a lot more power and uh, he probably has maybe, I, I don't know if he has authority over normal angels, but if there are other archangels, he probably has authority over them. So, when Michael appears in the Bible, it is usually in a battle of some type. Yes, I remember reading about this, folks. He wars with the fallen angels, those who have sinned against God and become demons, of course, and Satan also. Yes, I remember reading this in the Bible. He battles Satan himself. On behalf of God and his people, Michael appears several times in the book of Daniel as a warrior. Yes, so he also appears in the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 21, and in Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. In one instance, the angel Gabriel describes Michael as fighting against the demonic prince of the Persian kingdom, enabling Gabriel, Gabriel to reach Daniel and explain the visions to him in Daniel, chapter 10, verse 13. So, I guess you could say Gabriel was having problems trying to get the message to the prophet Daniel, and he needed some help. And so that's where Michael comes in and just helps Gabriel out and helps him get the message to Daniel. See, this is what I was talking about, folks. I like to think that Michael, since he's an archangel, he is just an awesome, powerful angel. More powerful than Gabriel. I mean, that's why Gabriel needed uh, Michael's help. Michael is really powerful. He's got that power that Gabriel doesn't. So Michael is definitely very powerful, and he's definitely an awesome angel. Mentioned the Bible. And then we see, finally, Michael is also seen in the book of Revelation when he battles the great dragon, or Satan himself, during the end times. It's seen in Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 through 9. The fact that Michael is leading an army of angels against Satan himself testifies to Michael's high rank and power. There you go, folks. Exactly. So, I don't know if Michael is the most powerful angel, but he probably is definitely one of the most powerful angels in heaven right now. He is just awesome, and he's my favorite angel. Uh, out of all the angels mentioned in the Bible, uh, he's definitely my favorite one. Go, Michael. <laughs> Go to, Gabriel. Don't get me wrong. Gabriel's awesome, too. And with that being said, folks, that I just want to clear it up right now that those are all the good angels, the real, the angels that are still angels nowadays, those are all the ones that are mentioned in the Bible. I've done research and what I've found so far is that Gabriel and Michael are the only two angels mentioned in the Bible by name. That is it. So now folks we are moving on to fallen angels. Angels that were angels a long time ago but now they are demons. So what I've found my research is that there are two of them only mentioned. So it says if fallen angels are included in the list of angels who are named in the Bible two more names should be mentioned. Yes like I just said. So one of them is Lucifer slash Satan. He was Lucifer at first, and now he's Satan. And then the name of this one is Apollyon slash Apadon. And I've, to be honest, folks, I'd never heard of that angel until just a few days ago. So this is new to me. So first, we'll start with Lucifer. We all know who Lucifer is. He was gar he was the guardian of God's throne. It mentions in the Bible. Let's let me read it up. Lucifer rebe rebelled against God and was thrown down from heaven along with the angels who followed him. That is got to be that is just a stupid idea. Man, let me like I'm talking about all the angels that followed him. I can't believe they did that. Before his rebellion, Lucifer was a beautiful and powerful being. Yeah, I did real quick folks. I did a video on Lucifer uh once a few years ago. I'm going to leave a link to it up above me here, so go click and watch that video, and I talk about Lucifer and what he looked like before he became Satan. It's a good video. Highly recommended. <laughs> so yes, Lucifer was a powerful, beautiful and powerful being, but he coveted equality with the Most High God, his Creator. Lucifer was a created being. God created him, and yet Lucifer thought he could be equal with God. That is just insane. And therefore became unholy and cursed. So it talks about all of this in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 through 18. And then it talks about him in Luke chapter 10, verse 18. So he is now known as Satan, as now God's chief enemy who seeks to deceive and destroy all of mankind. Ever since mankind has been created, he has just sought to destroy us. He hates us so much. He hates us so much and he hates God so much. And that is also mentioned in John 10, 10. So... That is Lucifer, who is now called Satan. 
and uh, let it let us look at the last fallen angel. Now, once again, this is kind of hard for me to pronounce. Apollyon slash Apadon. Now, folks, I've never heard of this fallen angel. He's new to me, and he is only mentioned once in the Bible, according to this. And what I've researched, I've only found him mentioned once. And it says that he is another fallen angel. He is mentioned only once in Revelation chapter 9, verse 11. And he leads an end times demonic army. So maybe, he's, so I guess the, the Bible is trying to say he's like a general, I guess, if you will, in the demon, in the demon army during the end times. Um, that's all we have to go by, folks, about um, a pat on. Uh, nothing else that I have found yet. Like I said, this is this fallen angel is new to me. I don't know much about him, and uh, yeah, that's all I know. And I think yeah, that concludes this video, folks. So, what? How many angels do we have named in the Bible, including fallen angels? Well, folks, by doing all the research, I found that there are only four mentioned in the Bible right here: Gabriel and Michael, which are still angels to this day, and then Satan and Apadon, which are fallen angels. So that is it, folks. That are all the angels mentioned in the Bible by name. And uh, if I find more in the Bible, more angels mentioned by name, I'll let you folks know, even though I think this is all there is to it. This is all we have to work with. But anyways, folks, I know it's been a long time since I did a Bible video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I certainly enjoy doing this. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, and I just now found the time and uh, enough material and notes to give it to you folks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did. Subscribe, join the audience today, and I'll see you folks in the next video, whatever I make. Thank you folks so much, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.